our next winner is a Plymouth mother who has worked tirelessly to support disabled children and their carers after her own daughter suffered severe brain damage at birth. She devotes every minute that she is not caring for her daughter, now eight, uh, to voluntary work with numerous city organisations. She says her husband calls her a woman on a mission and that she is driven to improve services for profoundly disabled children because she owes it to her daughter, Amy. She says her mission began after Amy was left with permanent disabilities when her brain was starved of oxygen during an operation. A public apology for the failure was made by Plymouth Hospital's NHS Trust lawyers at London's Court of Appeal. She now chairs four committees, including the group Friends and Families of Special Children, which she founded four years ago. It's a great disappointment to us today that uh, Kay O'Shaughnessy can't be with us. Uh, Amy has been waiting six months for a badly needed operation, and last week Kay was offered today's date for it to go ahead. And, you know, as appealing as the lunch was, come on. Um, we don't want Kay to go without her award, so First and the Herald decided to go and see her earlier this week. Well, we're currently up on the hoe. We're at Kay O'Shaughnessy's house. Uh, I'm delighted to be able to present her with the October Gold Star Award for her work that she does in caring for Amy, uh, her campaign for disability and all the work that she contributes to the whole community in general. Kay's is certainly an outstanding person. Many congratulations Kay, thank well you deserved. Very much. Thank well you very done. much, thank you. Um, thank you very much, I'm truly honoured and privileged with this award. Um, what I do is certainly not for thanks or for praise or, or for awards, but it, but it is lovely, thank you. Um, what I do is, is hoping to try and make lives a little easier for um, children with disabilities, their parents and their carers. Um, life for us has been one long battle since we've had Amy and I just want to try and make life um, a little better, um, services a bit more easier to access. Um, thank you very much, I'm truly privileged, thank you. And I'm sure you'll join us in uh, wishing Amy well with her operation. A Plimpton girl who saved the lives of two pensioners when their car caught fire is our next Gold Star winner. The school girl was given the award for bravery after she spotted um, flames spreading underneath a parked VW car. Uh, Sophie then ran towards the car shouting to the people inside, uh, warning them to get out. Moments later, flames burst open the bonnet of the golf. Ken and Mary Brown of Colebrook, who had put the car over after they'd heard a rumbling sound under the bonnet, said they owe our hero their lives. Two months earlier, uh, she was also uh, in Truro, and she came to the aid of a man having an epileptic seizure while she was out shopping. She called for an ambulance, and she waited with him until it arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sophie Limfer. <laughs> What a frightening moment that must have been. What happened when you saw the car? What did you do? Well, I just like, um, ran over just to warm them because it could have exploded any time, really. Because yeah. we see it on television all the time. As soon as a car catches fire, it explodes. I hear you're quite involved in, um, in fundraising. What else do you do? Um, I'm with a, well, like a youth group, which is called Dream Scheme, and... We do cake sales and things like that yeah. just to raise money for community. So we do that. So you get all your friends involved. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Well done. <laughs> 